want to see some head movement out They're there. scheduled for 12. Here's round number one. Well, a lot of people were looking forward to this fight, and with very good reason. When you pit these two guys together, it should be a very good fight. You don't have to look for either one of them. They are right there to be found, and our fans love that. Scores up top with a left. It's hard to touch Roy Jones Jr. with a clean glove. But if he can, his opponent does have power. Yes, he does have power, and he has a chance to catch Roy. Roy gives you this chance, clean. Because Roy will make you miss, but he'll do it naked. He'll do it with his hands down. If you catch him, bang, you catch him with everything. You can see him timing that double jab to the head. Takes one to give one. He comes back with a right hand. Well, supposed to be fighting, but instead he's hugging. Hopkins' is right hand working well that time. He scored well. Well, you could see what he wanted to do there, but unable to land that body shot. He has found his groove with this right hand. Blocks that belt line well. A little something for his opponent after getting tagged. Bernard Hopkins is way off the mark. That punch didn't have a chance. He took a shot, but he came back with a right hand of his own. Roy Jones Jr.'s landed a good, solid combination. Jones is coming up with the answers, avoiding that punch. Red hot action to open up this fight. Both men throwing, both men landing. It's been a long time since I've seen something like this. I think it was in a film library. Watchman Henry and Hank, the great Henry Armstrong, never took a step backwards, kept going forward. Threw the straight right hand, but didn't score with it. Bernard Hopkins just overextends himself on that punch and hits air. And you can see he wanted to do that as he holds on there. One, two jabs up top. And that's what fighters do. Pulls the trigger right away after taking one. Last 10 seconds of this first round. He gets hit, but he gives it right back. You gotta breathe. Just breathe. Relax. How you feeling out there? Now, you're not winning this fight, right? You're not winning. He's beating you. I need you to throw more than one punch out there. Here we go, round two is underway. A well-placed overhand right. Teddy, I don't think he's got visions of sticking around too long. He's landed power punches early. Yeah, he wants to make it a quick night's work. Good shot to the head with that right hand. Well-timed, well-placed uppercut there. He missed with that head shot. Nice job doubling up the jab by Roy Jones. You see him holding on. Roy Jones Jr. rocked by a huge hook to the head. Big left hand from Roy. Hey, you gotta see that coming. Let's go. Good doubling up of the jab by Roy Jones. Back to the body. Headshot lands with a hook. Jones is making for a tough target there. He gets away from that punch. Comes right back with some offense of his own. Jones is not just loading up. He's landing combination punches like he did right there. And now he's 
targeting upstairs. How about that left hand? Look at that. The hook came home with ease. He comes with the straight right hand. Oh, what an exchange. Bernard Hopkins' right hand did a nice job that time. That worked well for him. All out action throughout this round. Let's see how they finish it up. See, the defense pays off as he gets rid of that downstairs. Turns over that hook upstairs. Look at that combination by Roy Jones. Roy Jones Jr.'s ability to properly throw and land his combinations has been stunning. Teddy, why is he so successful? Because you just said it, he's putting them together. You know, one or two wouldn't land, but he's handcuffing the guy. And the first two punches, they set up the third and fourth. A crushing two-punch combo by Roy Jones. He got hit, but he sends it right back. Trying to go downstairs, but off target. Roy Jones Jr.'s left, landing well. Coming to the end of this round. Joe and Teddy with you ringside. Teddy, a round like that, where it's a lot of busy activity and both guys being busy. When you were a trainer, are those the kind of rounds that you prefer, or do you like the pace to be a little slower? Does it depend on each guy? No, if I have a fighter, I'd rather have a guy fighting a guy that you never see him. <laughs> Leave me the heck alone. And where I'm in control all the time. But the fans love to see a fight like that. Bernard Hopkins is not skipping a beat. He came out just the way he finished up last round. Yeah, what I like is that he's a thinking man's fighter, and his corner gave him probably good advice. They know that the opponent only had 60 seconds to recover, and they're figuring it wasn't enough time. You see the accuracy now with that double jab up top. Oh, he turns it over right into a hook. Firing off the uppercut, great exchange. You can see he's trying to score up top, but off the mark there. Blocks away that headshot. That uppercut absolutely, oh! It's gonna take a lot to rise up from that. What a body shot that was. Let's play this easy. He beats the count. Roy Jones Jr. is giving us something to think about early on in this fight here, but his opponent has even more to think about. He has established the jab already. Yes, he has established the jab, and now his opponent has to think about moving his head so he can get past him. Solid. This is going to take some guts to get up from this. Once again, he goes down. Jones's trainer is thrilled with this. He gets up off the canvas. Now he wants to see how he'll react. well after being hit himself. Nice work, the left hand to the head. Good exchange, he fires back. Big, big shot he just scored with. Roy Jones Jr. down, he may soon be out. This fight could be over. 